let's get past some of today. I think we're gonna do a great job. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Modern Man Podcast, and this is your Monday Modern Moment where we continue to share tips, advice, and really just some strategies that we've learned throughout the years on how to elevate ourselves and be high value men. Today, I wanna talk about dating. Be the magnet, not the metal. Now, what I mean by that is that you wanna attract your mates or you wanna put out that in which you hope to attract. When it comes to dating, it can be difficult for men to find the partner that they're looking for or really even identify what it might be that they're looking for in a relationship. If you find yourself finding it hard to approach women or, or, or a potential mate, if you find it difficult to maybe even get into the dating sphere or even work up the courage to ask somebody out, I know what that's like. I've been there before. I remember being shy. I remember not having much value to offer and really not having much confidence in myself in terms of approaching the opposite sex. In order to make yourself a magnet, you need to build yourself into someone who is desirable and can attract that which you want. So when we talk about being a high value man, you want to break through the noise because to be honest, a lot of these women or even the potential spouses that you're pursuing probably have a lot of potential suitors. So just like when you apply for a job application, you want to stand out. You also want to do things in your life that will make you stand out from your fellow man. You want to be a high value man by working on yourself. So then you can attract that in which you want. How do you become a high value man? Well, in my opinion, 2023 self-development is not an option for men. It is a prerequisite and it is a requirement by working on yourself, starting with fitness, working on your finances, working on your communication, working on your emotional intelligence, working on how you deal with conflict. Those are all things that can improve your navigation through life and also help you become a high value man that in turn can attract the right mate to you. So let's start breaking it down. Fitness, number one, in order to be a high value man, I do think that the the, the the first barrier of entry for a lot of people are looks. Let's be honest, that matters to many. In order to work on your physical fitness, set a goal, find out the workouts that you identify with best. If it's cardio, it's cardio. If it's cycling, if it's yoga classes, there's nothing wrong with that. If it's weightlifting, that's a great way to sculpt and mold the body that you want. But what you're looking for here is health over aesthetics you want to be healthy you want to be here for a long time not just a good time the healthy habits will result in the aesthetics that follow it's also important to lean into things that you're passionate about that could also be a physical activity because this helps you find a partner in the same realm who might be into the same things as you are finances get your finances in order there are a few books that you can find especially in the 23 books every man should read in 2023 on my website through the blogs you can find a whole bunch of content not just on finances but really in how you navigate this world to elevate your capacity for life but when it comes to finances are you setting up a savings account are you investing into your retirement do you have investments period Are you having a financial plan for your future in terms of what you hope to accumulate and what you hope to build? These are all things and and honestly foundational things that you should be building for yourself, not for a partner, but just a foundation for yourself to build a prosperous and abundant life. When it comes to your communication and relationships with others, auditing your healthy relationships and your toxic relationships, the positive relationships and the negative ones. Are you an asset or a liability to the rooms that you're in? Are you adding value to those around you? And speaking of adding value, acquiring skills, having a hobby that helps maybe make you money on the side and even another hobby that helps you with an artistic expression. These are all things that can help elevate your your conversations and elevate the things that you're interested in and which can attract a, a potential mate. Travel is a great option to get more diversified and get different perspectives of the world. So investing in that is a great option to help increase your value as a man, being well-traveled, well-articulated, having stories and being an interesting person to talk to. Because let's be honest, if you don't have anything going on, you don't have anything to talk about. Now, being a high value man will also mean that you can start attracting a mate. You stand out from the crowd. There's there's always that person you might be familiar with that walks in the room and you just think to yourself, there's something about them. There's something different about them. That can be you. If you continue to work on yourself, elevate your skills and your presence, and of course, live with intention towards a direction that confidence, believe me, will exude past your skin. 
And of course, when you talk about the options that you have, when you start attracting potential mates, then you could be particular. I break it down like this. Know what you want, know where you're going, know what you're doing to get there and articulate that to a potential mate. And having the options being more attractive and being able to maybe say yes or no gives you the ability to pick the appropriate mate. Because unfortunately, there are way too many people out there that just accept someone because they don't want to be alone. And unfortunately, that could lead to putting up with unhealthy relationships, toxic relationships, unfortunately, abusive relationships. So by being a high value man and someone who attracts the spouse, you have more of the choices to make and potentially and hopefully knowing what you want, you can make that right choice. All that to say is have the discipline and have the confidence to wait for the right one. By identifying what you have, what you offer, and what you want in life, you're going to be better equipped to find that mate that can rock with you, who has the same interest, who likes to travel as much as you do, who wants to learn a new language, or even somebody who wants to just sit back and watch the same shows that you do. It all comes down to identifying yourself, elevating your capacity for life, and what you bring to the table, not just financially, but emotionally. Have you healed your scars? because you don't want to use your next potential partner as therapy. Make sure you do the work to heal yourself because if you don't heal what hurt you, you're going to bleed on those that didn't cut you. Focus on yourself and by doing that, you become the person that can attract that in which you want so bad and then the choice becomes yours. And that is how you can set yourself up to find the appropriate spouse and the appropriate mate to rock this thing called life. Hope you guys got value from this one. Just another thing that was on top of mind for today. Hit that like and subscribe button to get a new episode each and every single week on Mondays. And of course, be sure to stick around for Wednesdays, Wednesdays for our more long form content that you can check out right here on the Modern Man Podcast. Take care, guys. Go out there and be some modern men.